Oh, this feels like a pretty good fish. Oh, nice pike. Try to... Got him kind of in the throat there. I'm gonna do my best to get the, get the net out here. Got him in the throat. There we go. The biggest challenge when you're doing this on your own is making sure you've got the net accessible and have a nice big net <laughs> to get the fish in. Wow. Get that beautiful fall pike. Nice fatty, nice thick pike. We'll get her back and I'll show you what we're doing today. All right, let's get this big girl back. Off she goes. Well, uh, that pike was aggressive enough, uh, the split ring <laughs> pulled right off the back and uh, we'll have to put a new hook on. But the important thing is we got the hook out of the fish. I've got two different crankbaits here that we like to run early in the fall. Generally what happens is that five to 10 foot area, the pike start to run in the fall because as the water cools rapidly, they run that depth line looking for bait. And we like to try our two different Rapella crankbaits. Uh, the Husky Jerk, which runs about five or so feet in total depth when you're going about three miles an hour. And the other one that we like to run is the Shad Wrap with the bigger lip on it. That one dives down about 10 feet. So you're running two different depth zones. It'll really tell you where the pike are running. And uh, you know, once you get the first one, you know which lure to concentrate on. Let's go get another one.